What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Ascalon, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. This is part three of my playthrough. So we left off in part two. We were exploring Terrace, um, the first planet that we kind of landed on. Um, it's me and Karth right now, but we'll be meeting some other party members pretty soon. So we're exploring the upper city. Uh, we checked out a store, some apartments, and now we are are uh, in the can the <laughs> and now we're in the cantina. I cannot talk, um, and we're participating in the dueling ring. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try the third fight against Ice um, to see if I can beat her. Um, and then I may move on and come back later, take on Marl and Twitch. We'll see how I'm feeling. I may even try to attempt to take them on. It's been a while since I played, so I kind of forgot, like, you know, what I might need or kind of a strategy for them. Actually, it's starting to come to me already while i'm sitting here so let's go ahead and dive back into it before i forget star wars nice old republic or kotor part three let's go let's go ahead um i saved it in the last episode so let's go ahead and try to take on ice yeah 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 the ring is in your blood not like a virus <laughs> uh, yeah yeah Get me in the ring, man. Alright, ice. It's tough. Oh. Do it. Ladies and gentlemen. Hope I don't die. <laughs> well, get knocked out. You can't die in this. We have a very special They have those energy suppression fields or whatever turned on. A woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as death itself. You know her. You love her. Ice. Uh, and ice. the other corner, a rising ice, star ice, baby. taking that first step into the big leagues. I give you the mysterious stranger. All right, let's do this, Ice. Let's dance. Don't shoot me yet. Okay. Pretty good. Ah, oh, missed. Let's do a regular attack. I oh, missed again. Oh gosh. Yeah, I'm about to use a med pack probably. Okay, I got her without having to use one. I was ready just in case. If she had taken down any more of my health, I would have used it. Okay, I don't think I can go against Marl yet. I need to level up again. Looks like we have a rising star in the mysterious stranger, folks. Well, I'll come but back how later. High can this star soar? You'll just have to watch and see. Mm. Love that announcer. So funny. All right. Journal entry. Let's see what it says now. After victory over ice, people are beginning to notice your accomplishments in the ring. If you continue to climb the ranks, a championship match is inevitable. All right, let's talk to the peeps, see if there's any updates. Oh, yeah, actually, talk to these people Twitch real is quick. My favorite. <laughs> oh, I thought they were going to make a comment about me. That Twitch is an animal. You couldn't pay me enough to get into the ring with him. <laughs> Anyways, all right, Duncan, you got anything different to say? You beat Ice. Okay. I've been trying to beat her for years, and you do it just like that. <laughs> I can't believe how lucky you are. That's right. I luck has nothing lucky. to do with it. Lucky to Skill. be born with the kind of talent I spent a lifetime trying to build. It isn't fair, I tell you. Yeah, go whine about it, bro. Uh, uh, girl on. Yeah. You beat me fair and square, stranger. Oh, okay. Nothing new from him. What about you, Ice? I've never been one to shy away from the cold, hard truth. So I'll just come right out and say it. I can't compete with the likes of you, stranger. I know when I'm overmatched. You're good. Very you're good. <laughs> but you're wrong if you think that means I'm suddenly going to warm up to you. Truth is, I really don't have anything more to say. <laughs> so you might as well move on. Well, I'll take the compliment. Anything more? Pretty impressive, stranger. Ice is no pushover. People are starting to take notice of you. They say you're the best thing to come along since Twitch stepped into the ring. If you're going to keep climbing the ranks, then I guess I'm next on your hit list, kid. I'm looking forward to it. Step to the ring, then. I don't want to be cocky, but whatever. You don't waste any time, do you? Go talk to Adger. He'll set the match up. Actually, not yet. <laughs> See what Twitch has. Actually, I need to talk to Adger to get my uh, money. Okay, he still says the same thing every time. Just wants to kill, shoot a main. Get 
300 credits. Nice. All right. Looks like we've reached the end. All right. There's Bendex Star Killer. He's here. Let's talk to him first before we exit and continue on. Leave me alone. I'm not giving out any auto prints to my fans today. Auto prints? What are you talking about? What? You don't recognize me? I'm Bendix Star Killer, the most famous blaster Bendic. slinger on Taurus. Over 100 duels without a loss. Every one of them a death match. You don't look so tough. Maybe you'll take me on. Uh, how come you don't hang around with the other duels? I'm retired now. Once death matches became illegal, I just got bored with the game. I got no interest in using stun blasters. There was nobody left to challenge me anyway. I've seen you in the dueling ring, but you haven't impressed me. Now, if you could beat all these other pretenders, that might get my attention. All right, ask some questions. Since I'm not going to answer them. You'd just be wasting your breath. <laughs> so move along before people see us talking and think I'm signing auto prints today. I don't want to be mobbed. Off All right, finally event. alone. I'm done with this conversation anyway. Jerk. <laughs> A lot of jerks in this upper city of Terrace. All right, let's explore some more. Or what's about to happen? You. <laughs> Remember her from the last episode? Mop the floor, the floor with her thugs. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna run off now? I wish you could follow her. <laughs> like, I would just love to just chase her and make her think that I'm about to destroy her. <laughs> she ran there to those apartments where our hideout is. Alright, I'm gonna. Fast travel back to the hideout really quickly. To use that feature, but also to get my health back up. Entry, add it. Okay, it took that away. Return back to my previous location. I love that you can do that too. So you don't have to run all the way back to where you were. I think if you leave the apartments though, you can't do that. All right, let's press on this way. You guys can see the rest of Upper Terrace. Get what this is. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, I think that's the medical facility. Gurney. Can't you see I'm busy with my duties? Go talk to Zelka if you need something. Rude. All right, what up, Zelka? I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I will not have it said that Selka Foran refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. Rat ghoul disease? What's that? The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the rat ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into rat ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. So they're zombies. There's no cure? Mm, there is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rat Ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. But I don't see how that's going to happen. That's when I'm going to come into play, and I'm going to have to do that for you. I can help you out for a price. Maybe I could find a way to get my hands on that serum. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over. And nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols. I might be Undercity. stupid enough. All right, I'll get that serum for you. Please don't say that. If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. They could shut me down. I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? All right, uh, let's ask some questions. I'm quite busy maintaining the facility, but I suppose I could spare a bit of time to answer some questions. 
What would you like to know? All right, he already told me about the rectal disease, right? And the terrible affliction has plagued yeah. prolonged exposure. To... I am quite busy. Man. Or how do you feel about the Sith? <laughs> I know enough to be scared of them. I've heard about the brutality of the Sith. I know what they do to the planets they conquer. So far, all they've done is ask me some general questions, but I'm afraid they might one day decide to shut this facility down simply out of evil spite. I guess there's not much I can do about the Sith. Except hope that the Republic finds a way to stop their conquest of the entire galaxy. Hey, we'll I am quite something busy else. maintaining... The... I don't about know much, but I'll tell you what I can. Probably tell me the same thing everybody you else has to told me. Terrace, or are you more interested in Lower Terrace and the Undercity? Upper. The people here in the Upper City generally like to think they're better than the rest of Terrace, but we're no better than anyone else. The people here can be selfish, greedy, yep, arrogant, encounter that a lot. prejudiced. That's why aliens need special permission to leave the Lower City. Maybe if more people in the Upper City weren't so self-centered, things wouldn't be so bad in the Lower City and the Undercity. All right, lower the city. lower city has been overrun by swoop gangs and thugs. Yeah, we know that already. If you're going to travel down there, you'd better go armed. If you don't get attacked by one of the swoop gangs, you'll probably end up beaten and robbed by one of Davik's thugs. Soon it will be as bad as the Undercity. Know about Davik? Davik is the resident crime lord of Terrace. He deals in stolen goods, he trades in slaves and contraband, and it would take a month to list all the people he's made disappear. His slimy grasp even reaches here into Upper Terrace. Most of the shops pay him protection money, so he'll leave them alone. Yeah, the man is nothing but a thug. I guess I'm lucky. Since my medical facility doesn't make any profits, Davik doesn't bother me. But if you ask me, he's no better than the Sith. Um, and then Undercity. The Undercity is a wasteland, crawling with flesh-eating mutants called rat ghouls. I feel sorry for the outcasts that are forced to live there. Outcasts? Justice here on Terrace is swift and harsh. There are only two punishments, execution or banishment to the Undercity. Anyone banished can never return on pain of death. Even their descendants are forced to live in the depths beneath our great cities. That's Whenever I can, I send awful. supplies to the Undercity to help ease like, the Like, the descendants didn't lives. do anything. Although there is nothing I can do to help those infected with the rat ghoul disease. Like, they should be given an opportunity to return to the Upper City, but I'm sure probably some of them probably won't want to, especially since they're... Other family members are down there. But that's horrible, though, that generations and generations later have to suffer for what somebody else might have done. I, right, I think he busy. told me everything I wanted to know. Oh, the escape pods. Republic escape pods? I, no. Why would you ask me that? I don't know. Those pods crashed in the Undercity. I'm not involved He's in like any way. like he knows a little bit more. Seem awfully defensive. You know something you better tell me unless you'd rather talk to the Sith. Did that work? The Sith were already here nope. asking these same questions. I'll tell you what I told them. There's another I way to find out what he what he's up to. Pods. Now, is there something else you need? I should have just come to him for healing. I forget what he has of for course. sale, so let's just look. Step over here and I'll show you what I have in stock. Crazy My the Sith are very or reasonable. not the Sith, Davik I need to keep this doesn't mess operating. with him because I mean he does sell stuff and he says he's not making a profit. That's kinda weird. Got some uh, implants that I might can get later. Oh, anything to sell? Nope. Journal entry added. Rat ghoul serum. All right, let's see if I can do this. Get into this door here. Hopefully, my security is high enough. Got it. Got it. Cool. All right, this is what he's up to. What are you doing? Don't go in there. That door is for employees only. Oops. <laughs> Yeah, I recognize these men. They're Republic soldiers. You recognize these soldiers? But how? Unless, unless you're a friend of the Republic. I'm a friend of the Republic. You can trust me. I, uh, I guess I'd better tell you what's going on. That actually worked. I only hope the Sith don't find out what I've done. Since the space battle get my overhead, people up. have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men are up speaks in compassionate up. hands. <laughs> I hate quiet to imagine for a while. what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. 
It's gonna cost you if you want me to keep this information secret. Oh, that's awful. Is there anything I can do to help? I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. Alright, ooh, got some light side points. Um, and then you better wanna, you might wanna, you better wanna, you might wanna close that door there, buddy. Make sure there's nothing in there. Alright, let's get out of here. Drawer there, medical drawer. Psst, you there. <laughs> Psst. Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the rat ghouls. You just sound slimy. I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. Not, in, not interested. No, don't be an idiot. Just listen to me for one minute, and you won't be sorry. David Kang wants the cure, and you'd be smart to give it to him. I already know who Davik is. Why does Davik want the cure so badly? I'm Davik's curious. Interested in anything that you know, I'm still going to say no to whatever he's wanting. He could make wanting. a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who practically give it away. What if I tell Zelka you're helping David get the cure? <laughs> I'll just deny it. <laughs> Who's Zelka gonna believe? Me or some off-world stranger? Probably me, because you sound like a bad guy. This. You'll get a better deal selling to Davik. I think I'd rather give the serum to Zelka. He'll use it to help people. Helping people is all well and good. But you have to help yourself first, right? I'm telling you, Davik will pay big credits for the cure. Nah. More than Zelda. I'll get my credits. Afford. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rat Ghoul serum, just take it to Zax in the lower city bounty office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. Journal entry. I like how even though you say no to certain things like that, you still get the quest anyways. Um, or an update to an active quest, letting you know you have that option just in case. So yeah, I could give it to Zax or I can give it to Zelka. What do we have here? Davik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry. You're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we gonna just let them drag this guy off? Nope. Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves We're not. a witness here. <laughs> Davik doesn't like witnesses. Well, I don't like you. Leave this man alone or you'll have to deal with me. <laughs> you should have mind your own business. All right, let's see that lesson. I'm sure, I'm going to fail it. But I'm not going to fail to beat you guys up. Easy peasy. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Davik. Should have listened oh, to your wife, buddy. Back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. And over all your credits if you want to live. Maybe I can help you. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters. So unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Davik, there's nothing else you can do. Here's the credits. credits. Just like that? I I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. You're giving him a hundred credits? Generous. Now I can pay off Davik. You've saved my life. Thank well, you. Well, I have at least 700, I so I can spare 100. To him right away. Plus, I'm about to make it back anyways. I've taken it from these guys. 50? 50. It pays to do the light-sided thing in these games. All right, let's go to the Upper City North. I think we were in Upper City South, obviously. <laughs> There's two parts to the Upper City. Explore this part. And this is where that party is being held. The door. North Apartments. All right, let's do our circular loop. See what we can loot. <laughs> our loop to loot. 
Hi, Largo. Hey, Largo. Montego. Hey, got your stuff. Anything else in here? Nope. Please, What's up, man? Please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Davik's money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please. I don't want to die. Here, I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. <laughs> what are you babbling about? Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. You mean you're not here to kill me? No, I'm just here but, to take your stuff. <laughs> I, I thought you were one of Davik's bounty hunters. If you're not here to kill me, what do you want? To take your stuff. Uh, maybe I help you with your problem with Davik. I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zach's in the bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding here ever since. But sooner or later, someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits. I'm a dead man. I'll give him 200 credits. You'd give 200 credits to a stranger just to help them out? <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, uh, thank you. Wow, that sure was generous of you. I just hope we don't end Shut up, up cars. credits later on. Now I can pay off. Only thing about this 200 oh, is you. I don't find 200 immediately <laughs> to replace it. I better go give this to Davik right away. But I'll get credits eventually, so it's all good. It's all to the goody dough. Around the loop we go. Place just wide open. Wait, there was a footlocker. Made back 19 of those credits. Taking those in that apartment. Something seems to be bothering Karth. What now, Karth? Yes, what's on your mind? Want to discuss something with you? You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? Uh, talk about these issues you seem to have with me. We didn't finish conversation last time. I'd like to know now if we have a problem. Uh, such good options, all of them. See, I'd like to know now if we have a problem. <laughs> I know you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. Mm. Why are you so hostile? What did I do to deserve this? You, uh, you haven't done anything yet but there's no guarantee that you won't do anything in the future i've been betrayed before by people and i well, it won't happen again of course it won't happen again if you never trust anyone i'm starting to get pretty tired of this attitude of yours uh that look i'm not trying to insult you this is just the way i am no need to take it personally um Right, and how am I supposed to know that you won't betray us? Me? Yes, you. Why should I trust you after all? Why not you? Accusing other people is a good cover for a traitor. <laughs> uh, we'll pick that one. I remember ever saying anything about a traitor. All I mean is that if you're smart, you oh, won't Oh, don't get trust technical with me, buddy. Not me, not Bastila, and especially not yourself. Also, you don't trust yourself? Is that it? I've never seen these op this option before. Again, I said this in the previous episode. I love these games for these different uh, dialogue options. Also, you don't stress yourself. Is that it? I need to be analyzed. Thanks. Can we just get back to business? You brought it up, buddy. I don't need someone around who doesn't trust me. So leave. Be on your own. That's obviously what you want. No, I like having party members. And Karth is pretty good in a fight. Sure you don't want to talk about it? No, I don't want to talk about it. What I want is to save the <laughs> galaxy, if that's even possible. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? What? Why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it? You keep bringing now? it up. Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. It's like, I want to talk about it, but something's bothering me, so let's talk about it. I guess it's something bothering him, and then I bring it up. I don't know. It's like, being impressed, Karth is not really, uh, maybe there's some time. He may trust you. All right, he'll come howdy facing to me again and I'll bring the conversation up again later wide open as well 
People in the North apartments are very trusting. South apartment people had their crap locked up. Little kid. A little girl. Okay, it's a party. Hey, you made it. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to show. The party's in full swing. Come on in. You it's like a lame party. Like five AI. people. It's fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Careful, Sana. That wine's got quite the kick. A couple more bottles and we'll all be passed out on the floor. Who cares? We're not on duty tomorrow. Let's live a little. Come on, drink up. Oops, 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 uh, techno music. <laughs> they all passed out. Total entry. Set the party on the, on the estimated the infamous kick of the Theresian Ale. <laughs> giving you ample opportunity to search their belongings. Oh, you got anything? Oh no, it's just dialogue. <laughs> Can't say anything right now, she's asleep. For that. Uh just dialogue, dialogue. I can't search any of them directly. Ooh, Sith armor. Experience points 300. It's more dexterity. Defense bonus is less than my combat suit that I have equipped. Other apartment. Oh, this one's actually locked. No problem. Got it. Family. Hi, family. Hi, family. All right, so we've completed everything in this apartment, so let's leave. Sith uniform is going to come in handy later. What is this planet coming to, huh? <gasps> Shlami's just walking around the upper city. Shouldn't you go to Lara says you belong, Shlami? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like he said. <laughs> These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. <laughs> Better think twice about what you're doing. This might be more you can handle. Hey guys, we can all be friends here. Let me buy you a drink. I'm gonna pick this one because they're rude, but I can still maybe try to persuade. Uh, come on, fellas. Okay, this it worked. Ain't worth the bother. Uh, uh, and I would have taken them out yeah, if I had to. I guess you're right. But fighting maybe drunken people, time, a bunch of fight. Come on, fellas, let's go. All right, just don't want to hurt unnecessary people. Or hurt people unnecessarily. Maybe. <laughs> Let's go this way. Bird shop. Complete droid. Oh, the Janus. Got a human name. Nishi la chorga king kun palamona re we team and bon rank tong muli ra on shatoring um ni patoga wanga chon. Do I even have to ask that question? What do they have against Twi'leks? Is it Twi'leks? Get how to say that word actually. I call myself a Star Wars fan. Anyways. Kipuna bona na kipuna kin ba muli ra duana don kin ba no kudnok neck. People would be a little more tolerant of others in this day and age. Like the Asari and Mass Effect. They're going to just be dancers and stuff. Although they do respect the matriarchs. Ability droids, what do they do? Vehicle repairs. Pretty handy having a fight, although I never use one. I like them using them for the security purposes, though. Ask questions. Don't think about the escape pods. I've been asking everybody that question. <laughs> Believe it on human error. <laughs> How do you feel about the suit? Alright, general information on terrorists. 
Hope you guys are having enough time to pause whenever somebody's speaking a different language to read what they're saying. How about them or know about Davik? I want to see what she says about Davik though. <laughs> like when she speaks kind of more angrily. Uh, I didn't even read what she was saying. All right, cool. She says about the swoop gang gangs. I'm interested now. Kipuna, bona na Chapuna. Kin ba mule radwana. Don kin ba no kudnok. Ni ba joni yo love wish. Dopa yuma pasen lati nongoto. All right, was that it with questions? I see her inventory first. Pair kick, computer spike parts. Buy some stuff for droids. Right, let's check out the Okay, tell me about the top of the line T3 M4 droid. Wanga kum kiba mucha shaka panga ye ki kun no ba mula dra custom job tanga book shot oh i don't mean to go back to that journal entry at it purchase the droid you're interested in the t3 and 4 which has been held for another buyer there's nothing you can do about it for now all right let me go ahead and buy the other one something happens we'll go ahead and get out of the way all right, get the credits, T3H8. He'll follow you everywhere. Nope. Alright, come on, buddy. Get this over with. Poor guy. Run the e chawa tongbola Johnny Ku. Where's that little T three H eight? You did not soldier. Did you not see him explode in the doorway? It blew up. I came to get my money back. Chopa chawi ti chok twist yun kun. Watu yama kama wuna hena kakin cha na guat na bon kon. Wana kun best chi pala mulek. I don't have to give you a refund, but I don't want to lose a customer. Yeah, you're going to give me a refund, lady. I think you should give me something extra for all the trouble. Ah, no hard feelings. Oh. I'm out. My credit's back. A plague spreads through our streets. We cannot sit idly by while this pox infects our society. Gordon, Gordon Collie. Listen to me, people. There is a terrible scourge sweeping our planet. This is like that one prophet guy in Mass Effect, which Bioware also made. Friends and fellow humans. I love some of the, bring you a warning. the a warning uh, like Easter eggs from this game planet. that they worked Please, on in Mass Effect. Me. My name is Gordon Kolu. Will you join my cause? We must band together if we are to stop the spread of vermin and scum throughout Taris. Are you referring to the sin? I am speaking of the hideous looking aliens who walk the world of Taris. The Wookiees and Ithorians and Rodians and Bin, uh, all of them. Listen, friend. Don't like this guy. Hard, dark times. That is why I, Gorton Kolu, have Gorton formed the Anti-Alien League. 
anti-alien league. We cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious oh, horrible planet. name. <laughs> Good luck at your crusade. I don't know which is worse, your hate mongering or your ignorance. You are like all the rest. You will not see the truth. On the day of reckoning, you will suffer with the rest of the alien lovers. Come on, we should keep moving. Cook or no, people like him can make trouble for us. All right, this the military base. Hmm, yawning a little bit. <laughs> drinking a Sprite. I should be drinking a Coke, I guess. The military base is that way. We don't want to go there yet. The elevator is off limits. Only Sith patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols. So unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. <laughs> where can I get authorization papers? If you were supposed to have them, you'd know where to get them. Now quit wasting my time and move along. Can I ask you some questions? I'm not here to give you information. <laughs> I work for the Sith, not the Taurus Taurus board. Now just move along, unless you have the proper authorization papers. Watch this, ladies and gentlemen. Abracadabra, I'm not wearing a Sith uniform. Another patrol heading down to the lower <laughs> I changed right in front of him. That's so funny. I've heard it's pretty rough down there. There's a big swoop gang war going on, you know. You better watch yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean. <laughs> All right, journal entry to search for Basila. So we're going to the lower city. Hopefully it will be just as easy to gain access to the other city so you can search for the signs of Basil's crash escape pod. Alright, now we're going to check out the lower city that we've been hearing about all game. But before we do that, let me change back the outfit that I was wearing. And I'm going to put Karth in this for right now just to give him a little bit more protection than what he has right now. We're gonna get into a couple little uh, fights down yes. here. All right. Here's our first one. Karadumpa kunpa yia moka paata. Oh, at first I thought I couldn't skip the dialogue. <laughs> These are those two gangs fighting each other. <laughs> I love how he had time to do a, a front flip and then strike. Like, I would have cut him in midair. Sith aren't welcome here. Oh, because Karth is wearing the Sith outfit. That's cool. Hi, buddies. I won't use a grenade on y'all, even though it would be funny. Come on, Karth. Nice. Alright, let's see what y'all got here. Be your stuff. Alright, the third one doesn't have anything, doesn't look like. Before we head in there, there's some more people over here. Let's go take them out. We let corpse. Grab whatever they got. Ooh, med packs. Nice. What up, Volcar guards? Volker guards? Oh gosh. I helped out a lot. Oh, car? In this. Alright, mid pack. Okay, one of them's dead. Alright, there we go. Should not have used that mid pack. Man, when I get the first hit in, it's, it's pretty easy, but then... Oh, yeah, I can't open that door, though. Um, but after that, when they start dueling me, too, it gets a little harder right now. I'll level up some more. All right, let's get my health all the way back up before we go into these apartments right here. We fast travel back to the apartment. Or my hideout really quickly. And fast travel right back. I love that you can do that. <laughs> so quick and easy. Quick loading screens, too. Wait for too long. Build my health back at 100%. So let's go into here. Check out this apartments. Keep pushing forward throughout the lower city. Security door. No problem. No problem. <laughs> 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 Alright, 
I love how the dialogue's different if one of y'all are wearing the Sith uniform. I skip this. Yes, what's in your mind? Oh, <laughs> you got it. talking to Car. Oh yeah, he won't talk to you. Let me get that off of Car. Alright, now talk to me now. Going in here. Me to rob the place, sit down and shut up, and you won't get hurt. What are you doing in here? This place looks abandoned. Oh, if you know what's good for you, bro. I don't like your attitude. Are you in some sort of trouble? Do you want to talk about it? Okay, it Matrix. Enter the Matrix. That's crazy that when he ratted, they didn't protect him. <laughs> Maybe there's somewhere I can help you out of this mess. <laughs> Collect the bounty. Or I'll help him. Maybe you could turn the tables, you know, have Davik eliminated. Maybe you could pay him off. Maybe you could fake your own death. Eliminated. Uh, maybe pay him off. Okay, fine. Maybe you can fake your own death. Right, tell me your plan. Oh, you're in luck. I happen to have one of those. <laughs> but it'll cost you. Uh, go on, take it. Oh crap, I didn't check out that foot locker. Oh crap. I have to reload really quick. <laughs> oh crap. Forgot to check the place out first before I talk to him. I'll reload in just a second, maybe, and cut all that out. Oh, I can't go back in there. All right, let's load that back up really quick. Crap. I'll be right back. Alright, got the stuff out of the foot locker this time. Hang over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up about the sip, dude. Alright, now we're good. We got the stuff out of the the foot locker there. Let's level up. Do dexterity. Alright, skills. Definitely wait. Oh, it's already maxed where it can be right now. Ah. Stinks. All right, I said I was gonna hit security up one time. Get repair up. With demolitions. Need that uh, coming up pretty soon. Except, ooh, implant level two. We're level two implants now. I don't have any. Let's keep exploring. Bye, dude. These apartments. Take this guy out quick. Or these guys out. Oh man, they shot me. Got him. Nice. The remains for me. A repair kit. At least I can sell that. Go in here.
Twisted Rancor Trio. That. Okay, would that be under items? Here we go. I'm not going to read through this, but I needed to solve this puzzle in here. So let's see. I did the trio to earn a date with a young singer named Alinda. Linda became the first member. And Uja and Uji. Here. Hey. Sorry, I couldn't be there with you, but here's the package I promise. Remember, activate the holographic security system in the proper order to open it or boom. Activate the holograms in the same order that they joined the band. Since you're the Twisted Rancor Trio's manager, you should be able to figure out the code. I still think this was, this is a mistake. Davik won't be happy if Ashana can't fill in for her sister. You don't want to get Davik mad or you might never come out of that estate again. Anyway, good luck. If this works, think about what a great chapter it'll make in the biography of the band you've been working on. Alright, so Alinda was first. Got her. And was it Uja? Yeah, Uja then Uji. Uja was over here. There's Uja. And Uji. Uh, oh. There go. And after that. Oh wait. Can't use the item. I'm trying to use it for some reason. Okay. So then Lupa. Photo. And Ashana. Lupa photo Ashana. What? Photo Baggins? <laughs> and Ashana. Bam. Okay. Alright, let's grab whatever's in here. Ooh, nice. New armor. It's upgradable too, and it's better than the current one that I have. It added one more point of defense. I'm going to get that, and I'm going to put Karth in this one. Going. Hi, hey, bodies. Just walk right over, y'all. Y'all not even there. Armin door. Oh, hi. Didn't mean to scare you. Actually, I did. Just a little bit. I missed. Oh, I missed again. <laughs> Hit Karth. Ow. Oh, this is a boss. You asked for this. Why am I not attacking? There we go. Jeez. Weird. Still attacking. Yeah. That stuff. Now I got an energy shield. See, I told y'all I would get one. This helps against uh, blasters and stuff. Get the... Make use of that from time to time. All right, keep rolling. Like Limp Biscuit. Hey. We're Black Volkers. Gotcha. All right, I'll check out your remains in just a second. It's out of time. Finish up this apartment area before I move on. Sword I can activate, but I've already been taking out people, so let's go on in here really quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna activate the drawer though, probably just to get some experience points. Even though there's not anything the drawer can do at this point to help me. <laughs> Arthur and I handled all that by ourselves. Alright, I think we're back at the end of the loop. Yeah, there's the exit right there. Alright, let's activate this droid. Save first. In case I decide, eh, I didn't want to do that. All right, I got 11 parts. Repair it. One, okay, two, four. The more I can activate, the more uh, experience points I get. Four, seven, and 11. I need a, oh man, I need one more part to be able to do everything. So I won't be able to do everything. Just optimize the weaponry. Targeting system, send it on patrol mode, and I'll still have. Actually, if I do this, I'll have three repair parts left. Do that. 
and leave it alone. All right, got 180 experience points. They're nice. All right, let's get out of here. Save. Then we'll call it quits for this episode. <laughs> it's auto saving, but I like the manual save. All right, so that was episode three, Star Wars, Nice Old Republic. So three of my playthrough. So hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking if you're enjoying this playthrough. Um, if it's your first time ever seeing this game, definitely leave me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying the content for additional videos that I got on, on my channel besides KOTOR. I play a variety of video games and I do some other video game -y type videos on my channel. So hit that subscribe button and check out all that content. Um, I'm on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all at Ascalon. So you can follow me there for additional content. All of my social media sites have the same name as my YouTube channel. So I like about having a, such a unique name. So it's all Ascalon. So I should be easy to find on any of those social media platforms. My wife and I have a YouTube channel called Team Rixie. So you can subscribe to that channel. If you're in interested in Disney World videos and taste test videos, those are the type of videos that we do typically on that channel. We talk about Disney World. We do some Disney World taste test videos when we're there in the parks. Uh, we're going to be making a video soon talking about our experience with uh, Genie Plus uh, during our last trip. And so, yeah, so subscribe to that channel if you're interested in that. And we also do some taste test videos uh, of different foods and cool stuff like that. That's Team Rixie. Then we have an Instagram page where we post Disney World and Universal Studios pictures from our previous trips. That's called, uh, or current trips even. That's Team underscore Rixie. Team Rixie itself was taken for some reason. So I had to throw in an underscore. It's Team underscore Rixie. All right, having a blast with KOTOR. I'm so glad I dove back into this game after 11 months. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Y'all take care. I'll see you in another video. Peace.